Freshman guarding senior. Gurley open again. That three won't fall. Loose ball. Satan comes away with it. Has numbers. Takes it himself. We talked about being aggressive. And Staten, the more aggressive player on that play, taking it to the basket. Staten, the freshman. 11 to 4, Dayton. And the rebound hops over to Devin Oliver. Wright trying to run, turns it over. UMass with a little fast break action, and Gurley lays it in off the feed from Correa. Well, Chris Wright got nervous at the other end because he didn't want to get that offensive foul. Same thing here with Oliver. Good defense by UMass. Their defense leads to offense. You'll see Wright loses the ball. You'll see Vincent coming up, and then at the other end, a great one-handed pass to Gurley. Gurley using the, the rim as a pick, able to finish it. So that was great defense by Williams. Parker trying to leave it for teammates. Instead, it hops to the Minuteman. And the lay-in, no, but the tap by Gurley. Lazy part, uh, pass by Parker. Um, Ryan Greg is not going to be happy with that. Leads to an easy basket. Now, Sean Carter going for the steal. Dayton keeps it, and this was just a bad decision. Well, you're leaving it for a, a big guy in transition without looking, and this is great hustle by Gurley. Looking to resurrect this program. In transition, Farrell able to use the window. Staten blocked. You'll see great defense here by Sean Carter getting Actually way the up. same record in conference, tied for eight, seven and nine in eight ten play. But with that win over Dayton here, as Putney hits the runner, UMass held the tie. Here, Putney in the last six games, averaging around nine points a game, so he's given a lot of production off that bench. Start to fill out till I was in my early to mid twenties. Count that in the foul. Spearman with another big bucket off the bench. And they're gonna get Putney for that reach, and when you're that big, you have to move your feet. Putney gets beat, and then you're gonna see hit coming from behind, but Spearman coming off the bench and giving good production. We talked it about it to Williams. Near side, open shooter. Spearman has another triple. To 18. It's plus 20, Fabrizius, his third triple. And Putney able to outreach Kavanaugh. Riley will try it from well deep. And able to hit. Two of the Flyers. Wright able to pull up and bury the jumper. That's a jump shot. Riley able to turn around and it rattles down. So Freddie Riley is coming With that off. ankle injury and it took him a while to get back. There you saw a little hop in his step. Nice move by Benson. But Riley, when you get hurt in the middle of the year, it's tough. Riley will hoist it and hit it for three. Vincent the hold against Fabrizius. Here's Freddie in four. He had 18 points against Charlotte at 15 in the first half, so he can light it up. And they were not forced turnovers by UMass. Riley again. Got it again. Johnson, they lost. Kurt Hillsman, who I think, think was one of those guys that just did a great job as far as the team chemistry. Everything ran through him. It's a different offense this year. There for Fabrizius. He needs to scoot back behind the three-point line. Parker the steal. And now Searcy with the stop. Timeout date. Three for a little jam time. Now well, Parker getting the ball ahead. And then jump time. Searcy putting it down. Once again, Dayton playing good off defense. It leads to offense on the other end. Nice slam by Devin Searcy. And they do, they are regular field goal percentage. Sampson Carter able to lay in two. Now they lost three to end the regular season, but they win one to start a run here in the Atlantic 10 tournament. Brian Gregory and the Flyers off to Atlantic City to be matched up 
with their arch rivals from Xavier in the quarterfinals Friday. The showdown is set. First quarter final on Friday. Xavier and Dayton followed up by Duquesne and St. Joe's. And then the night doubleheader, it's Temple and LaSalle followed up by Richmond and Rhode Island. A great weekend of basketball in Atlantic City at the Atlantic 10 Championship presented by Ram Trucks. Once again, our final score, 70-58 in favor of Dayton. For Steve Wolf and our entire CBS College Sports Network crew, this is Jason Knapp. For scores, highlights, features, and more, go to cbscollegesports.com. This has been a presentation of the CBS College Sports Network. So long from Amherst, Massachusetts, Dayton with 13 three-pointers in the route of Massachusetts. Thanks for watching and have a good night.